The performance-enhancing drugs that ended the career of Michigan State football star Joe Bocci aren't necessarily illegal. Because of a lack of regulation, some over-the-counter dietary supplements may cause a positive drug test. Nicole Bachman digs deeper into drug testing in sports. The news of Joe Bocci's failed drug test is spreading around MSU's campus like wildfire. And now local gyms are discussing the complexity and risks of performance-enhancing drugs. People think, oh, okay, so if someone's going to take a performance enhancing drug, they're going to all of a sudden look like Arnold Schwarzeneggers, but that's just, that's not how it works. Athletes recovering from an injury might, you know, take testosterone or take something just to heal an ACL tear. It's not all about getting huge. The NCAA bans anabolic agents like testosterone, but also stimulants, growth hormones, and antiestrogens, not only to ensure fair play, but also to protect the health of college athletes. Yeah, so some of the risks, you know, are, are everything from really the risk factors of health, you know, whether it's your heart, whether it's your liver, you know, there's many things that, you know, a physician could tell you are the harmful uh, effects of taking any foreign substance that your, your body may not like. But even over-the-counter nutritional and dietary supplements could cause a positive result in an NCAA drug test. The FDA doesn't regulate any supplements, so anything you buy from a health store, branch chain amino acids, protein, like it's really not regulated. So I try to go through the ingredient list. It's so hard because you don't know what a lot of it is. So you could get yourself in trouble without even knowing. That's why the NCAA warns against supplements, saying many of the banned drugs are not listed on the label. Really tell people to be very choosy, you know, with what you're getting. Do they have what's called an NSF certification, you know, so it's free of any contaminants. What Bocci took has not been released. Last month, CMU's quarterback David Moore was suspended after failing a drug test. Both Moore and the university is saying Moore's use of an over-the-counter supplement is likely the cause of the result. MSU has filed an appeal for Bocci's case, but the university says it doesn't have a timeline for it being heard or ruled on. In East Lansing, Nicole Buckman, Fox 47 News. If the ruling is not amended, Bocce's college career is over as he is a senior and set to graduate in December. The Spartans have a bye this week. They host Illinois a week from Saturday.